Well, you know, I was, I was walking through the Home Depot there a couple years ago and buying light bulbs. We go through light bulbs like nobody's business. And I, I just hate wandering around Home Depot on a Saturday afternoon, wasting a good afternoon, hunting for the right kind of bulbs and all that. And I was about halfway upset over the whole deal, you know, in kind of a bad mood. My cell phone went off and I grabbed it and I said, hello. The voice on the other end said, Vernon, what are you doing? I said, I'm buying light bulb. <coughs> said, well, why don't you go ahead and buy a case while you're here? I said, Who, who's this? Well, it was John Randall. Now, John Randall is a big record producer, and he's a great songwriter and singer, and he's just a good human being. And uh, I said, what, what are you talking about, John? He said, well, he said, I just wanted to call you. He said, we're down here in the studio, and I'm producing this record on this new guy. His, na his name is Dirks Bentley. And uh, he said, we want to do one of your songs. But he said, before you say anything, I want to tell you what, we, what our plan is. He said, Dirks is going to start it off and sing that first verse. And then he said, on the second verse, we're going to bring in this other singer, or this girl singer by the name of Miranda Lambert. He said, she's going to sing the second verse. And then, then on the third verse, we're going to bring in this other guy, uh, sort of an up-and-comer by the name of Jamie Johnson. And then they're all three going to like sing that big last verse and chorus. And he said, we're going to make it the vocal event of the year. I said, well, hurry. <laughs> and he said, well, we are. I said, well, down here right now. I just wanted to make sure it's okay with you. And I, I said, I'm fine with it. Let's go and do it. And uh, so they went. Went to work, and sure enough, the record came out. Months passed. The Grammy Awards came around, and there we were, nominated for Vocal Event of the Year, that song. And then, as if that wasn't enough, a couple more months passed, and the, the CMA Awards, the Country Music Awards, came out, and it was nominated, nominated again for... It's a different name, but the same, but they call it, I think, the vocal collaboration of the year. And I could not believe it. I said, man, John Randall is a man of his word. He said he's going to do something, and he does it. You know? I, I, okay, I should mention that we didn't win either one of those <laughs> nominations, but it's okay, because you should see how well my house is lit up. <laughs> People think it's like the Opry or the arena or something. It's my house. You can see it glow from about 40 miles outside of town. And I got light bulbs, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm going green. I, I got those curly pigtail light, light bulbs. You know. So anyway, all that just to say this, that you never know. I wrote that the song that they recorded about 20-something years ago. Uh, just fiddling around, a, a guy gave me an old guitar, and it had a very unique sound, and I couldn't wait to sit and pick it. And I sat down and started working on that song. Uh, you know, and in a matter of a few minutes, I had three little verses and a, and a chorus, you know, and not much to it. It's about... It's about temptation, you know, and I was thinking about that. You got your good angel on one shoulder, but there seems like there's always a bad angel on the other one, and they're, they're all fighting back and forth. But anyway, so that, that little song that, that sat on the shelf for 20-something years, all of a sudden, made me really enjoy my morning stroll down to the mailbox. <laughs> Doesn't matter how 
how old the songs are, the royalties are the same. <laughs> so here it is, it's just a little simple tune called Bad Angel. Is that? 